Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Whoa. Ah. Watch. Right in the heart of Capitol Reef. I did land on my boot, but it didn't break your phone. Break my phone. Oh my gosh. lie in bed all day drinking beer while I work. Yes, this That's is what, what I do. do. So we could have stayed in a wagon? I mean, we kind of are staying in a wagon. We are in a wagon. Very happy. My fix worked. We went to, I guess it's called Fruta Campground here in uh, Capitol Reef. Got a fresh water hookup, turned it on, and my problem is solved. Just with replacing that inlet valve. So happy. I'm already got almost 10 gallons pumped in in just a couple minutes. This is the way it should be. It's a really nice campground. It's almost all vans and tents. Uh, only a couple of RVs, and it, they say it's full. Hard for me to believe. It doesn't really look full. Apparently it's five dollars if you're not staying here to use their dump station, um, which I have no problem with whatsoever, even just for adding water. So I'm taking my little envelope with my five dollar honor system theme and dropping it in the camper thing over here. Maybe there's a big event here. Maybe like Ricky Martin's performing tonight or something. You know, don't be a hater. <laughs> Ricky Martin with guest, special guest appearance by Barry Manilow. You're not recording that. Well, you just take a picture of that. And oh, I can do that. That would be like me when I went to Antelope Canyon. Yeah, yeah same thing. Oh. oh, look at that. A nice big tape of plastic door. Wheel hub off. Four weeks of dirt, bugs, and grime. Inside, they'd know. I know they'd know we're not homeless, yeah. <laughs> also, got some pretty soft dirt spots, so I want to be careful not to get stuck. I think your soft dirt is hard right now. It's if it rained here, right? yeah. You're right, you're right. If it rained, it would be pretty mucky here. You can see by the tread marks right there. All right, I think we got a pretty good spot here. We just tried to go explore in the FJ. To see if there was a better spot and it, the road gets pretty dippy which is fine for the fg but I'm, i've had enough with bottoming out the back end on this trip when they on the rv so peggy's moving the fj i'll take the double spot Ice caves and horse, wild horses and unicorns just around the corner. I should get that tattoo.
awesome. So is this my hike? I will pull in. Gracias. De nada. I think it's the next one up though. This is looking a lot like Walter's Wiggles right here. <laughs> All right, can we take a break now? I didn't have the camera rolling when Peggy took a major fall. I had to pull her out of a canyon, put her leg back on. Put her leg back on. <sighs> yeah, that's a good card roll for you right here. Yeah. I don't think you need to climb up on that one. You're going to have a big bruise on your bottom. Right there. You didn't cut anything. Morning. Morning. From? It's not really Torrey, Utah, but I guess it's Torrey, Utah. It's called Capitol Reef. Well, we're not actually in Capitol Reef. And we're pretty darn close. Yeah, we're probably five miles driving, five miles to the entrance to Capitol Reef National Park. As the Park. crow flies, a mile. Yeah, we just went straight across this canyon right here. We'd pretty much be right in it. We're in a dispersed camping area called... Um, Camping? No, it's uh, like Bees Road. I think it's Bees Road. Bees Flats Road. Bees. It's um, it's a dispersed camping area <laughs> outside the national park, but on I believe it's BLM land. I think when we first started going in to Capitol Reef, we we're like, yeah, yeah, it's kind of cool. But we've seen a lot of this kind of on our drives across the states, you know, across Arizona and, and mm -hmm. Utah. But then once you got right down into it, right, really got into the national park, it, I think it looked a lot cooler. Yeah. The scope and the size and everything. So from a distance, it's like, yeah, it's pretty. But up close, it's like, wow, this is big. And it is a I definitely don't think, I mean, I know people do it, but like if I did the five, the big five or whatever. Big you, five, yeah. Utah, big five, national park. You would park. get tired of rocks. <laughs> I mean, I love rocks, don't get me wrong. Well, then you could say that in the Pacific Northwest. Mm, I'm really getting tired of trees and waterfalls. Touche. Right. So. But that would never happen. <laughs> well, what happened to the lady that says, oh, I love rocks. Rocks are incredible. I do love rocks. But you love bark more? Where are you going to go? Navajo nub. Knob. You know, it's hard work, John. It's not fun. Okay. I'll remember that when I'm sitting in a meeting. <laughs> that was the point of my comment. On our way to do... Um, what am I doing? Navajo Knob? I think that's the name of it. <clears throat> Says 4.7 out, 4.7 back. I'm doing the Navajo knob trail and every corner I go around I go oh that must be the knob I don't no I don't think I'm right anyway it's a very cool trail I like it because it's uphill and then you're flat and then you're uphill and then you're flat and then you're uphill and you go around these rocks it's uh you can get tired and then breathe and then and beautiful vantage points to overlook the visitor center and the campground and all that fun stuff. So it's been a good one. I don't think it's too hard. A couple of the reviews I read said very strenuous, but I don't think so. I think that's the backside of Cathedral Rock, I think. I think we're going 
up there. It's a big rock. I'm already at four and a half miles and it says it's 4.7. Can you see it? Up there. Ugh. So here's his knob. Right there. This is the top of Navajo knob. So glad I did not turn back. I'm up on a giant rock. I'm at almost 7,000 feet, and the views up here are insane. Of course, now I have to head back five miles, so gotta go. Heading back down. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Come on. Had to push up to this rock to get the whole view. We went all the way there. Now I'm here. And I have to go all the way, I think, way over on the other side of those humps. When you see hikers and you're like, I want to go there. Getting close. And there's the bridge overlook, but I have no idea what the bridge looks like. Park over there. That was a beautiful hike from start to finish. It was pretty amazing. So many different rock structures and just views for miles, miles and miles and miles and miles. Now we're on our way home. I'm gonna crack a beer and rub my feet. Are you all done? Oh, well, how's your beer? That's good. You just lie in bed all day drinking beer while I work? Yes, this That's is what, what I do. do. Uh -huh. Just sit here drinking beer. You run like probably like six or seven beer now and then you just look out the window. <laughs> Yep. What do you want to do tonight? Um, ooh, we should go check out Tori. Okay. A shower would be good. And a hair wash. Yeah, I think you should do that. That noise you hear is the water here going. Yes. It's calling my name. Let it do its thing while you take a shower and get right. pretty. Put on a nice dress for the evening. That seems weird. You even have a dress? I do. Just one? I have two. Two? The one I wore in the white sands and... And? And another one. And your wedding dress? Yes, I brought my wedding dress. Awesome. Let's go do some wedding dress because I brought a tux. <coughs> so let's do that tonight. Ooh, look at us living on the edge. Yeah, no reservations. Just dispersed camping. We're just living like, we're like gypsies, honey. Oh. We are gypsies. We, we just gypsies. pick up and go. Alrighty, that is a vintage wagon. Yep. Look at this door. Pretty well kept. Yeah, it's like a probably 1970s Class A. <laughs> you can go say hi to him. And introduce yourself to our neighbors. Introduce yourself right on, right on, introduce yourself. Is that a song? It's cheer. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah. I think they even have little air conditioners. Look at them. I don't think wagons are supposed to have air conditioners. Come on now. That's not right. What do you, what do you think it looks like in there? Just I a mean, bed? It's just like a tent, right? I mean, a tent with a hard floor. I bet it's probably nice inside. And those must be like showers or something? Yeah. Over there for them? And potties. Yeah. Let's stay in a wagon. I mean, if you had kids, come on. That would be fun. I think you right? missed the restaurant. I think it's back there. You do? Yeah. All right, so we decided not to go to the steakhouse. There were, there were people in there. But there were people in there. I really don't want to spend money on a steak tonight. I don't want to. I had a good steak and potatoes and... and that we made for ourselves. We made for ourselves for $20. Yeah, so we're going to give the Mexican joint a shot because it's... Could be cheaper. Although we had Mexican last time, remember? We didn't. <laughs> we ate chips and salsa in the car while oh, we were for drive. Yeah. Hopefully, we hopefully you brought that salsa in and it's not sitting under my seat or something. Yes, it's in the fridge. Okay. It's guacamole. Guacamole. Do you like guacamole? Yeah. You like guacamole? Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! Dinner complete. Standard Mexican fare. Place got very, very busy. Lots of people, not a lot of staff. But it worked out. Yep. I think it was. Yep. I didn't want to sit and have a steak dinner somewhere. No. We're at five or six thousand feet. Even I right. was at 6,700 at the top of my knob. <laughs> it's a big knob. Mm -hmm. yep. Home sweet home. Whoa, whoa. Plan for today was originally last night. It's changed this morning. We were, I was just going to work from here all day and then while she went hiking. And then at the end of my work day, we pack up, go get fuel for the RV and FJ, and then go dump and get water at um, Fruta Campground, and then get on our way to Hanksville. But my meeting starts a little bit later this morning. We got up early at sunrise. So we're going to go just move the RV over now. Go ahead and get gas now. Go ahead and move over to the campground now. Empty the tanks now. And then just park over there. And I'll just work from there. And that'll save us a good half an hour. And we'll get some pie. A good half an hour. Maybe even an hour if I do all the dump and stuff. So that when my beings do end, then we only have like 45 minute drive or so, I think, from there to our next dispersed camping site. Outside Hanksville. Well, it's right next to Goblin State Park. Oh, wow. Yard sale in the back. Don't know what fell. I think the counters weren't clear. I'm not going very far, though. We're just going uh, about a mile and a half once I get off this dirt road to um, get gas. We're down to about a quarter of a tank in the RV and get the FJ gassed up before we head over to uh, Capitol Reef National Park Visitor Center area. And that's also uh, where they have a campground and they have a big, well, relatively large parking area that uh, I could set up shop and work in for the day. This gas station's kind of funny. There's a restaurant here. We ate that last night. But there's also like one of the pumps there is a, a jeep with a flat tire that i'm sure has just been there forever it's probably just a bad pump or something so they just leave the jeep there to block it off i think so no he's like watch no he's just clinging to the ground so he doesn't fly away like. all right let's get some gas So that gas station that we stopped at was about a mile and a half from where we were dispersed camp. It was pretty convenient because <clears throat> they have a little store there and restaurant and everything else. Um, 
there's another dispersed camping area. There's probably camping areas, dispersed camping areas all over here, but there was one that we were driving by. That you go right by on the way into the national park. If you were to go straight ahead, you see some, might be able to see the RVs sitting up there on the hill up there. Probably easier to get in and out of because you don't have to go down a long dirt road. You just sort of pull off the road and there's just a bunch of level spots there. But you are right next to the main highway, right? So you're gonna you're gonna have more noise and you you have a kind of a cool view of the of the mountains right there, but you don't have really the distant view that we had, right? Where you can see the whole mountain range and you're sitting right on the edge of the canyon. There. Tell me if I'm going to hit the fence. I think this is okay because it's like I'm, now I'm only taking up really one spot. Yeah. Versus going like that and taking up like seven spots, right? Right, I'm not going to get in line for pie. Oh, really? Is that what these people are in line for? Okay. And then like setting up shop right in the heart of Capitol Reef. So what'd you get? You got pie, right? Yeah. You just got pie? That doesn't look like pie. <laughs> that doesn't look like pie. Got a mixed berry and an apple. Okay. Well. Oh my God, honey, they're still warm. Should have had that for breakfast. Well, yeah. All right, let's pray that Starlink works so I don't have to move. No one to move. <laughs> let's see how light it is. So there's no power. Oh, okay. It's just air? Mm hmm It's just air. Mm hmm Delicious. Whoa. You want to drop it on these floors? Be scraping sand off for a week. The pies? Right here. Oh, okay. Did you count them? Yeah. Because there's no guarantee how many will be left when you get back That one's hike. mixed berry. That's apple. I like mixed berry. But then you're going to want vanilla ice cream to go with that. They you? had vanilla ice cream in there. I are forgot. They? I should have probably bought some, huh? So we are set up in the parking lot. Here in Capitol Reef, right next to the pie store. And I finally got my Starlink working. So I can get some work done. This meeting's done, which is good. I didn't do any talking on this hike because there were lots of people and I was trying to go fast. I'm trying to get back for lunch. Um, this is a pretty tough hike, but there were lots of people out there doing it, just taking their time. It's short. So it's at 1.7 up. Um, the first go is probably the steepest and the hardest because you're basically climbing rock stairs. 
and then it kind of does a whole flat thing and then up and then so you get some breaks in there which is nice just in time to make my lunch <laughs> Just, nice. just finished a meeting and I was putting my laptop down and I thought, hmm, what do what I want for lunch? And then in my chef came. So, oh. pie for lunch? <laughs> yeah, here you go. You should see all these people, they come in and they're all excited and they park and they walk up and it's there's, sold out. there's closed signs. Oh. All the doors have closed signs in yeah. the window. Do they break for lunch, or do you think they're sold out? I don't they know. Well, people are them. people are lingering, so it must have a time. Maybe they just are closed because it's for a lunch. little store too. Oh, is it? Yeah. So maybe they just took a break for lunch. They got... Yeah. <clears throat> My work day is done. Peggy has finished her hikes. This place has cleared out a little bit. It's not so crazy and hectic. It's uh, four thirty. And we're we're gonna go get an area to connect up the FJ because there's plenty of area to connect up right here. But the gate coming out of here is really very narrow, and then you turn, you have to take a hard right turn into this little campground road. So not the best place to be going out. So we're just going to go out to the visitor center, which is right at the main entrance, and hope there's an area there that we can connect up, because we have about a 70 mile drive to what is essentially um, Goblin State Park here in Utah, and there's a dispersed camping area right next to it. Uh, 70 miles, that it says it's going to take an hour and a half, so I'm guessing there's a whole bunch of 35 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour zones. Oh yeah, this would have been pretty tight, I probably could have made it. Tight, tight, tight gate. Once a year. It's unfortunate that was, you that didn't wasn't, get it on video. I know, it was not pretty. It was thud. And then you lied there like when... You fell off the ladder in the backyard in our house, and I had to call the paramedics. You just were like, I thought, uh-oh, we're having a redo of of the broken back incident when you fell off the ladder, because you lied there, and I was like, oh, no. And they are like, the camera. Like, okay. <laughs> the same camera that she argued with me when we got out of the car. Do I really need the lens cover on it to protect it? I'm going not going to drop far. it. We're not going very far or anything. Why do I need a lens cover on it? I did not say all that. Yeah, you did. I insinuated that. But I didn't <laughs> say all that. And then we were, what, a tenth of a mile? <laughs> what was just a little overlook and boom, she hits the ground. <laughs> yeah. That's my wife.